Fact. Overwatch is one of the coolest games ever. One reason is because the game didn't come with a storyline. It's more of a choose-your-own-adventure type, allowing for deeper immersion, so to speak. Another reason is because it's Blizzard's first franchise in 17 years, which, because it's Blizzard, means a lot of characters and also a lot of Easter eggs. And that is what we're here for. We're looking for those Easter eggs. If you haven't already, support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up, as today we're showing off some Easter eggs that you hopefully haven't seen. Ready to test your skills? Keep watching! Number 1. StarCraft Part 1 Alright, we're gonna start with the broad strokes. The Overwatch cinematic trailer. Ever seen it? Well, as we told you earlier, this is a Blizzard game, and Blizzard loves Easter eggs. So, of course, there were some eggs in the cinematic trailer. In the scene with the two boys, the older brother is wearing a sweatshirt emblazoned with an insignia on the back. Not sure about you, but we know what that is. That's Raynor from StarCraft. Think Raynor's Raiders, the once Terran commander turned rebel leader Jim Raynor in Brood War. Raynor was pretty much king of the hit and run. Small and underpowered, the Raiders often battled at disadvantaged odds and partnered with former foes to fight current enemies. So what's with his insignia being in Overwatch? We aren't sure, but we have a few ideas. One might be that perhaps there's another storyline that has yet to be woven in, a potential lead of sorts. We think this because we know that Blizzard loves Easter eggs almost as much as they love expansion packs. The second theory is that perhaps it's just an acknowledgement, a tip of the hat if you will, to alternate universes. Personally, we'd love to see Commander Raynor tearing through Overwatch. Number 2. StarCraft Part 2 For anyone who's played Overwatch and StarCraft, there are too many easter eggs to leave it at just the Raynor's Raiders insignia. StarCraft easter eggs are all over the place. For those unfamiliar with StarCraft, it's basically a free-for-all, winner-takes-everything space battle between the Terran, Zerg, and Protoss. In simplest terms, the Terran are human, the Zerg are monster aliens like in the movie Alien, and the Protoss are smart UFO-type aliens. At various points in the game, alliances are formed, such as when Jim Raynor paired the Rebel Terrans with the Protoss, but the Zerg have always gone solo. Back to Overwatch. One of the coolest StarCraft Easter eggs is in the Temple of Anubis map, where one of the characters has mounted a Hydralisk head. Much like Hunters mount the big game prize, this character, probably a Terran, mounted a Zerg head. The second coolest Easter egg would probably be the StarCraft comic books. If you head down to the bar on Route 66 and take a look at one of the tables, you'll notice the Craft of the Stars comic books. What's intriguing about these books is that on the front cover you can clearly see images of Raynor and Kerrigan, as well as one mystery image. We wonder who that could be. Number 3. Roadhog For those who don't know, Overwatch characters Roadhog and Junkrat were some of the more recent character introductions that many think are quietly BFFs. Yes, BFFs. But they aren't. They both hail from the destroyed post-apocalyptic wastelands of Australia and used to run in the same crew, the Junkers. As kids, they probably had a bunch of Mad Max posters on their wall because they are Mad Max to the core. Between the scrap steel armor and the jerry-rigged weaponry, that of course are excessively powerful, this duo has Overwatch fans glued to their screens. A quick rundown on Roadhog. He's 48, wears a gas mask, and loves a good tattoo. His signature move involves the chain hook, which of course we've already heard about being likened to Scorpion, but this looks more like Chainsaw Massacre to us. And the scrap gun. Roadhog is a big fan of snatching enemies from far away and then blasting them with the scrap gun. But besides that, have you ever looked at his apparel up close? On his vest, he's affixed himself a couple of cute patches. Well, you may not know this, but the green patch is actually a reference to the online video game artist's website, Polycount. The character on the patch is known as Greentooth and has appeared in many of today's latest games. Number 4. Junkrat So, we told you about Roadhog, but Junkrat is the other half of the Mad Max characters in Overwatch Equation. As we've said, both of them are from the destroyed wastelands of Australia, but they are not, in fact, BFFs. Junkrat actually pays Roadhog to be his bodyguard. Back in Australia, Junkrat found a valuable secret in the bones of the Omnium. 
other people wanted to possess that secret, so he was forced on the run. Just before he left, though, he convinced Roadhog to go with him, and they've been on a path of destruction ever since. A quick rundown on Junkrat. He's 25, has a bionic leg, is obsessed with fire, and is quite impressive as a weapons engineer. His primary weapon is a grenade launcher and grenades, but he also has a steel bear trap of sorts and a motorized spiked wheel bomb. Impressive. Perhaps most impressive, though, is that he has some great dance moves. Back at the Overwatch anniversary event, dance emotes were introduced, and players know that characters will dance on occasion. However, it wasn't long before Overwatch players discovered that if you place Junkrat and Roadhog next to each other, they'll begin dancing together. Reminds us a little bit of the twins from Transformers, but much less annoying. Number 5. Hearthstone Anyone ever played the card game Hearthstone? Well, there are numerous Easter eggs in Overwatch relating to Hearthstone, but for this video we'll cover three. If you find others, post them in the comment section below because they are everywhere. By now, we're assuming that you've watched the cinematic trailer for Overwatch because that's where several of our Easter eggs are located. In the scene with the security guard, look at what he's doing. He's using a transparent tablet, so it's pretty obvious to see. No, he's not goofing off on the internet, he's goofing off playing Hearthstone. If you haven't played Hearthstone, it's basically the card version of Warcraft, formerly called Hearthstone Heroes, but not played with cards. It's digital. So obviously this is Blizzard doing another product shoutout. The last two instances of Hearthstone are more general occurrences. You'll see them everywhere. You've probably noticed them, but not paid any attention. The second instance of Hearthstone comes from the bar on Route 66. We see the game of cards, which look normal, but has the Hearthstone logo on the back. You can find these cards in several areas. And lastly, the third instance of Hearthstone is in the Hollywood security office. You'll see the game running on a computer screen. Number 6. Diablo Part 1 Hello, my friends. Stay a while and listen. If you can remember which character said that quote, because he said it in Diablo 1, 2, and 3, you'll know who our next Easter egg is about. For all the Diablo fans out there, we'll discuss the two Easter eggs we've found so far. Firstly, it was Deckard Kane who said that quote. If you've played Diablo, you know DC because he's the guy who identifies all your items for free. He's a Gandalf of sorts. Identifying treasures used to require 50 gold identification scrolls, but since you saved Deckard, he does this for free. Because of this arrangement, any Diablo player knows Deckard Cain intimately. It should be of no surprise that he's in this game. Pinned to the wall in the Route 66 bar next to the cash sign, you'll see a $5 check signed by Deckard Cain. In the memo section, he wrote that the food was delicious. The check is dated 51512, whatever that means, and if this is Deckard Cain's writing, he has a very strange way of dotting his eyes. Looking closer, you can see a barcode near the bottom of the check, and let me just say, this barcode works. We'll let you read it to read the hidden message. Number 7. Diablo Part 2 by now, we should be expecting to see all of Blizzard's iconic games in Overwatch. We've seen the sweatshirt logo, the comic book covers, and the hidden barcode message. The detail in this game is pretty over the top. For now, we'll continue on with the second Diablo Easter egg, which is located in the marketplace of Dorado. Here, it's pretty much everywhere. Look closely at the pinatas hanging up. Do they look sort of familiar? This marketplace is covered in Diablo-themed pinatas that are actually filled with candy and burst once engaged. Now that's some detail. As we've said, there are several types in this area, but we think the best is of course Mr. Diablo himself, in little caricature form. We think he looks most like the Diablo from Diablo 2, but not really like any of them because the piñata is missing quite a few spikes. We're sure that there are plenty of other Diablo Easter eggs in Overwatch because the Diablo franchise was one of the greatest of all time. If you found or find any others, be sure to post them below in our comment section and we'll include them in another video. Number 8. Volskaya Industries in the map Volskaya Industries, players know that there are large robots in the distance. These robots are actually called the Sviatagor mechs. It's what Volskaya Industries produces, and surprisingly, they're human piloted. A little bit about the map. Obviously, it's located in Russia, but the reason that Volskaya Industries has those large robots is due to the economic rebuild after the devastation of the Omnic Crisis. The Omnic Crisis was the mutiny of the Omnics, which are robots, against their human creators. This battle absolutely devastated Russia, but it was their human-piloted Sviatogor mechs that defended Russia and as they rebuilt, they were used in the rebuild. 
As such, Volskaya Industries manufactures these robots as their defense against the Omnics. This easter egg, however, is not so much about the map, but about the characters in the map. If you look closely at the Sviatogor mechs, you'll notice that they're working. Rumor has it that if you keep watching the Sviatogors, they'll actually begin dancing. And they dance the robot. The reason we think this is interesting is because we can appreciate the depth of detail. Who knew the entire backstory of Volskaya Industries? Did you know the robots dance? Number 9. Necropolis and Temple of Anubis There are tons of easter eggs in both of these maps, and we included them together because in the game they're right next to each other, and there's a bit of a crossover in the easter eggs. First off, we're guessing that you've seen the murloc airbrushed on the side of the giant transporter in Temple of Anubis. Pretty big, hard to miss, but did you know that if you shoot it, he'll make the sound? THE sound? Well, just shoot it and you'll hear it. Most people didn't know that. Over in Necropolis, did you know that you can find Anna's refuge? We're sure you've seen it, but you can find her laboratory, her grenades, and her sleeping darts for her rifle. She even has a kitchen area off in one corner, and even a tea set. If you look at her computer desk, you'll see that she's tracking Reaper, his last known locations, the Reaper sightings, as well as Volskaya Industries. Lastly, she has her laptop open to an image of Giza. We wonder how this all ties together. Lastly, take a look at the hieroglyphics. In both of these maps, the hieroglyphs may look eerily familiar to our fellow WoW players. Why? It's orb writing! Number 10. Hanamura Our last example for today involves the map Hanamura. We all know Hanamura is the quiet town that gave rise to the notorious ninja crew, the Shimada. But did you know that Hanamura is also full of easter eggs? First off, you have the 3D Murloc in all his glory atop the ramen shop Rikimaru. What's interesting about this is that we've seen Murloc everywhere, mostly in advertisements, but this is the first mascot we've seen. This one too will make the sound when you shoot it. We recommend you give it a shot. Second, have you seen the arcades? Located right next to the Murloc, the arcades include some real-life references. You can find the Lost Viking 6, one of Blizzard's earlier games, as well as Soulstone and Super Siege Mode 3. Too bad you can't play these games GTA style because the detail is so good they actually look playable. Perhaps the most interesting of the arcades though is the game Fighters of the Storm. Look closely at the screen. You can see two pretty cool characters. It looks like they have Jim Raynor in his Terran getup along with what looks like the Archangel Tyriel from Diablo 2. Now if only we could play these games. Well that's it for us. We know that there are plenty of easter eggs left to be discovered, so which should we leave off? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. As always, be sure to subscribe to support this channel and don't forget to check out more awesome videos in our playlist. Thanks for watching!